Happy New Year! What's in store for Arizona educators as we begin 2017? Well first, kudos are due to three of our ASA districts who were named to the National Advanced Placement Honor Roll for 2016 because they simultaneously increase the number of students taking the AP exams, especially students from broad and diverse backgrounds. And secondly, they increase the number of students who achieved a three or greater on the AP tests. Those districts and their superintendents are Maricopa Unified School District, Superintendent Steve Chestnut, Vail Unified School District, Superintendent Cal Baker, and Tucson Unified School District, Superintendent H.D. Sanchez. Congratulations to them. No kudos or congratulations, however, for the Governor's Classroom's First Council, which limped to the finish line along with 2016. Their final action was inconclusive. You can read the attached editorial from the Arizona Republic, which gives detail on their report. They basically handed the problem back to the legislature. However, the committee did bring the issue of special education funding to the forefront among a greater number of people, so that's valuable. And many feel like the inconclusive report is perhaps uh, as good an outcome as could have been anticipated from the Classrooms First Council, especially for public school districts. On another subject, A through F accountability is still under development. A recent article attached again in the Arizona Republic summarized the ongoing saga. The timeline has been extended by the State Board of Education to early April and they've scheduled four more meetings of the ad hoc committee and you can see those dates. The first meeting is this Wednesday, January 4th in which they will pay a special attention to the career and college ready indicators. Other issues that are still out there, how to measure growth in the high school, what to do about 7th and 8th grade students who take uh, advanced math courses, does the high school count them, does the elementary school count them, and finally how to measure career and college readiness at the elementary level. Those are still under discussion. Well, the A through F saga continues. The State Board did conclude the revision of the Arizona Career and College Ready Standards. They voted for the final revision in their December meeting despite the recommendation of their own subcommittee, which a few days earlier had voted eight to seven to delay the recommendation. Now the board voted eight to one with member Jared Taylor opposing, and he opposed on the basis of the subcommittee recommendation wasn't followed and parents' voices weren't heard. He was specifically referring, of course, to the Mommy Lobby, a group of uh, parents who are adamantly opposed to Common Core and feel that the currently revised standards still contain too much Common Core. Along with the notes are my remarks to the State Board of Ed on behalf of ASA advocating for approval of those final revised standards so we can get moving with training, with assessments, and, and with uh, other actions necessary to implement those standards. They did do a couple of other things that you would be interested in as well. They provided some further instruction to the ad hoc committee on A through F accountability. Namely, they asked them to investigate with modeling data on the what we call the float issue balancing the use of proficiency versus the use of growth for school districts. And districts with strong proficiency scores, that would be emphasized, growth would be less emphasized. Districts with strong growth would get growth emphasized in the formula over proficiency. So it'll be interesting to see how that research comes out. And finally, the legislature convenes Monday, January 9th. So lock up your children, pets, and valuables. We are certain to see multiple bills in this session regarding education. Perhaps funding reform, who knows what direction the legislature may take on that. We will certainly see an attempt to increase the use of vouchers. And ASA and other groups will be opposing that. Finally, there will be a cleanup bill to reduce burdensome Title 15 requirements. 
You can be assured, however, that while they reduce those requirements with one hand, there will be a number of bills with unfunded mandates coming forth on the other hand. For those of you that want to keep track of all these developments, our website at ASA will have a link which will be updated weekly on which bills are advancing, which aren't, which ones we oppose, which ones we support, and other legislative activities. Our Monday, January 9th division meeting, that's next Monday, will spend a considerable amount of time discussing legislative possibilities. Your voice and your input is welcome and needed at that meeting and I hope to see you all then as we begin 2017.